Hi guys, let's talk about the HRT interview question today. So in case you do not know about know about HRT, so I have already mentioned about them in my previous two videos. You will find those two videos in the description section of this video and also in the recommendation section coming at the top right of your screen. So let's see what the question is. Uh, the question is that, I mean, recently someone had given the online assessment test of HRT and he has pasted some of the questions which had appeared there. So the question is that you are basically given a rectangular board divided into a uniform grid. Okay, so this is an example board which they have shown. It consists basically it can be modeled as an n cross m matrix and it consists of i mean the board can have dots or hash okay so that dot represents an empty cell and hash represents a block okay so this is what they have mentioned in the question as well that some cells of the board are occupied with blocks like these blocks are represented by hash and others are empty the empty cells are represented by dots now you are trying to add more and more blocks to the board and your task is to fill the first column with them so basically you have to add more blocks to this particular rectangular board and your task is to fill this entire first column with the boards okay now there is a certain you can say way only by which you can add the blocks so that is mentioned here that you can add a block to the field in the following way first you choose the row index like you can choose any row index maybe you chose first second or third let's say we chose second row then we have chosen when we have chosen a row index how do you add the blocks you basically throw the new block into the chosen row from the left so you throw the new block from the left into this particular chosen row and the block will move in this way that the block appears in the leftmost cell of the row and starts moving to the right so when you throw the block from on on the second row from the left it will start moving from right and it will keep on moving right until it reaches another block or the end of this row okay so it will keep on going right until it reaches the end of this particular row or it reaches another block so in this case it will do, go to till this third empty cell and it cannot go any further right because we have hit a block now right so when that happens the block basically when that happens the block starts falling down until it reaches another block or the last row okay so when we are when we pushed the block from the left on the second row it kept on moving right until it hit this particular block now it starts falling down and it will keep on falling down until it had reached the bottom most row or hit it hit hits another block so in our case when you pushed one block on the second row from left that block will end up here that is in the third column of the last row okay as mentioned here which i have told earlier as well that blocks are denoted by hash and empty cells are denoted by dot and you throw a block into the first or the second row from the top it will end up like this okay and yeah even if you had thrown the block from the first row so it would have ended up at the same place right because it will first keep on going right it can only go right at till the third column because then we hit another block then it will start falling down and it will keep on falling down until it reaches the bottom row most row or hits another block so it will end up here only at the third column of the last row now what is your task your task is to actually calculate the minimum and maximum number of moves required to fill the first column of the board with the blocks okay so here is a test case which we have they have given like this is a sample matrix the you have to basically return the minimum and maximum number of moves so this is uh, you have to basically implement this solution method which will take this matrix as input and it returns a vector of integers so that vector will only be of two size of size two and it will have like on first on zeroth index it will have the minimum number of moves on second and first and on basically on the first index it will have the maximum number of moves so in this for this particular matrix the answer is four comma four only i mean the both the minimum and maximum number of moves are same and here they have shown an example as well that why uh, the minimum required minimum number of moves is four like this is your initial block this is your how your initial matrix look like now you start filling for minimum number of moves you start filling the boxes from the first row so when you will push a box on the first row it will end up here only because it will first go right it cannot go any further right then it will, it will start falling down it cannot fall any further down as well so first block is here now you have to now like this second row is already filled the first column second row is already filled so you'll push another block from on the third row so in this case it will keep on going right and it will end up here now you push another block it will keep on going right it will end up here and then you push another block it will finally end up in the first column of the last row so now all the columns of this basically all the rows of this first column are filled or the entire first column is filled so it required only four moves similarly for the maximum number of moves you we always have to start from the bottom bottom most row okay so this is the algorithm only that for the minimum number of moves you always start from the top for the maximum number of moves you always start from the bottom okay now they have given a couple of sample test cases as well uh, the constraints are that the size of the matrix is i mean maximum size can be 12 cross 12 only so you can imagine like the constraint is very low so 
simple solution can also pass so i have implemented one of the solutions here it is present i have commented here as well on this particular post so here it is like as i told you we have to implement the solution function which takes this matrix as an input okay now and we will have to return a array of integers where the first it will contain two entries the minimum and maximum number of moves so here is a bit of error checking like uh, if already the input is empty or the maybe the first column is em first row is empty then just return 0 comma 0 okay otherwise we will compute the minimum number of moves and then we will compute the maximum number of moves and return them so how we are computing them is this that i have this another utility function called fun so i copied this input matrix into another uh, local matrix that is input one here is my minimum answer initialized to zero i start iterating from the first row okay so i am starting from zero row. And for each row, I start calculating the answer. So here I am calling this function and incrementing my minimum answer by whatever is returned by this fun. So let's see how fun is implemented. Like first argument is the input matrix only. Second argument is the current row, basically the row on which we are. Third argument, the column on which we are currently. And fourth argument represents whether we are going right or not. Because as we said that how the box is going to traverse inside the board is that it will keep on first keep on going right until it reaches the last row or it hits another block and then will it will start falling down okay so once it starts falling down it cannot start going right again right so to track that information we use this or we need this going right boolean variable so here is a bit of error checking like if our current row basically if we have gone past the matrix right so if our current row has become greater than or equal to number of rows in this matrix the input matrix or current column has become greater than or equal to the number of columns in the current matrix or we have hit another block in that case we return the return zero only otherwise we initialize this result as one why this is one because it means that this cell is empty so anyways we have to place a block here right so one move would be required for that for placing that block now we check we first will always try to go towards right okay but we will only go right if we were going right before as well let's say if we if we are falling down then we cannot go right right so that's why this if check is there that only go right if we were going right previously as well if we were falling down so do, we should not go or you, you know we should not try going right again so for going right all we have to do is that we pass the input and current row as it is for going right our column will be incremented by one right and this would be again true only Otherwise, if we have exhausted going towards right, I mean, all the columns to a, towards our right are filled or we had, are at the end last row, basically, we will now start falling down, right? So this is done for that, that now if we are falling down, so how do we fall down? We just increment the current row by one current column will re remain same and this going right would be false. We are passing this false so that further in the rec recursion, no one tries to go right, right? Because now we are falling down, we have to keep on falling down only and eventually we will place a block on the current row and current column because all the columns towards our right and all the rows towards uh, which are you know below us have been filled so now we place the block here for this particular move only i had initialized my result as one and we eventually return the result so this will tell the minimum answer for the maximum answer the in it is same i mean we are just starting from the bottom most row and going to top trying each row till the top and we are calling this function okay and eventually we return this min answer and max answer so someone had paste there is another post on lead code this one so there actually someone has pasted more test cases so i tried my code on all those test cases and it worked fine you can actually see this post as well there are more test cases and it was passing all of them so this particular thing consists of a more uh, detailed view of the question i mean here are some of the test cases it was failing for the person who had submitted it but mine i checked all test cases are passing i mean this expected output is 3 comma 6 for this particular matrix similarly for this it is 12 comma 12 for this one it is 2 comma 3 i mean all the expected outputs were satisfied for this it was 9 comma 12 so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like subscribe comment and i'll see you next time